Industrial Building System, shortly called as IBS is a precast composite concrete system of construction. This has been developed keeping in mind the rising steel prices, labor-intensive civil works at site and speed of construction. We will explain through the various steps and process involved in the construction. Foundation System Based on the nature of the soil, the type of foundation is decided. It will be either pile and pile cap or open foundation. Pile, pile cap and rafts are done on conventional methods. In cases of special situations, the raft slab can also be made precast. Pedestal. In the open foundation method, the pedestal is precast with the foundation bolts or the dowel bars. Top level of the pedestal is decided based on the finished floor level of the building. In warehouses, it is a common practice to have the finished floor level, 1.2 meters above the driveway. Corbels will be provided in the precast pedestals to support the retaining wall, which retains the earth inside the building up to finished floor level. In C2 works are avoided. Concrete volume for the pedestals are very less. Few set of pedestals have to be made ready before ordering concrete at site. Bolt or dowel fixing is a precision and time-consuming activity and it has to be done with care in conventional method. Retaining wall cum tie beam. Precast retaining wall of 1.2 meters is designed in a manner that it acts as a tie beam cum retaining wall between the two foundations. In places where the dock levelers are situated, necessary opening will be given in the wall to accommodate the movement of goods from the truck to the warehouse floor. In the dock areas, we will be using only RCC precast wall. In places other than dock areas, hollow core slabs will be used as retaining wall cum tie beam. Hollow core slab wall system. In places where the client needs walls for the entire height of the building, hollow core walls are a good system, as it can span between two columns and it will be supported on the pile cap top or pedestal. Hollow core slab wall systems will also act like insulation walls because of the hollowness in the slab. Window, door openings can be given in the slabs by providing channels all around. Sleek wall. The cladding wall for a height of 3 meter is a mandatory requirement in all the warehouses, factories and for this, we have developed, Sleek Wall, which is a thin wall system, spanning up to 9.5 meters. The advantages of this wall with the other conventional wall systems are that 1. There are no vertical joints between two columns and hence no sealants are required between the two columns, which reduces the maintenance works. Grade of concrete used in the walls is M50 grade and it is very much superior in quality and can be executed faster when compared to the conventional system, which requires staging, more labor for plastering. 3. It is simple and easy to erect. It can be erected using two 14-ton cranes. The connections are simple. They are connected at the two ends of the columns at the top and grouted to the bottom wall. If the wall is required to be removed at a later date for reusage, it can be easily done by removing the bolts in the corner. However, it has to be known to us beforehand so that the bottom connection can be bolted and not grouted. The wall has two sides, one is ribbed and other side is a trowel finished face. Based on the architectural feature, it can be flipped and erected. Necessary door and window openings can be made. If they are missed out and if these have to be added at a later date, then the concrete area between the rib areas can be cut open. Columns. Precast concrete columns are designed based on the following parameters. Height of the column, wind load and seismic zones, crane loads and span of the building. In typical warehouses, there will not be cranes and the height of the columns at the eaves and the ridge locations will be 12 meter and 15 meter respectively. In light and heavy industries, EOT cranes will be common and the capacities of these cranes will vary based on the type of applications. Corbels will be provided in the columns to seat the crane beams. VME has designed and executed columns for crane loads ranging from 5 tons to 150 tons and to heights of 15 meters. Crane beams. Based on the span and the crane capacity, depth of the beams is determined. 
Steel insert plates will be fixed in the beams to receive the crane rails. There are a lot of advantages by going for crane beams and concrete columns, since the vibrations produced by them when compared to the steel columns, beams will be less, thereby giving more life to the cranes. Rafters. Precast concrete rafters are joined at site by post-tensioning system and then erected. The member sizes are designed based on the spans. Roof purlins are pre-stressed concrete members which can span up to 17 meter. In the IBS systems, we are spanning the purlins long, so that the rafters are spaced at 17 meter, that is at every alternate columns, unlike the steel PEB system, where the rafters span every 8.5 meters. By adopting such system, we are getting rid of the jack beams, thus giving more volume to the inner building. Advantages of concrete purlins over steel purlins are that, it can take more collateral loads than the steel sections. Additional collateral loads like electrical, light fittings can be hung from the purlins. Installation is very easy and the width of the purlins are close to 300 mm, which will make the life easy for the sheeting team, as they can walk on it, with necessary safety measures. These purlins are made of M50 grade concrete and needs very less or no maintenance. Sacrificial steel strips will be embedded on the purlins for fixing the sheets. Either screw down method or standing seam method of sheet fixing can be done. Cladding purlins are M50 grade pre-stressed concrete. These are designed to take the wind loads and the sheeting load. It will span between the two columns and it will be seating on the column corbels and then grouted. There will be no need for sag rods. Here also steel strips will be embedded while casting the concrete, for screwing the sheets. Tie beams. Tie beams connecting the columns are also pre-stressed and they will span between the columns on the eaves end and the gable end, which are about 8 meter to 9 meter gutter beam come tie beam. Precast concrete gutter beam at the top will also act like a tie beam. The gutter size will be custom made based on the rain water volume. Necessary slope will be given in the gutter for water flow. It will span between the two columns, which is about 9 meter. Holes will be provided in the gutter to take the down take pipes. People can walk on it to clean the dirt, debris. General advantages of the IBS system over the steel buildings. Reinforced, pre-stressed concrete is very strong and has more life. There is more margin of safety to add collateral loads in the future. Maintenance free. Sturdy when subjected to high wind loads. IBS has more volume in the building, since the number of rafters is half and there will be no jack beams in the building. For any further queries on products, feel free to contact us. 98 4004100 or email us marketing at vmeprecast.com